Last week we showed you how easy it was to check into St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It really was easy peasy. And then I think one of the highlights was having pina coladas on an island bar built entirely with conch shells on top of a reef. And we got to visit the last bar before the jungle. We are two crazies from South Africa, that's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. Oh, and another add on to our intro is my twin sister, Magda. Next up is the island Canoan. Oh my word, check out the cheesy pink billboard, real as Vegas style, eh? But you know what? That marina is considered the most upmarket marina in the entire Caribbean. Go Google it. It truly is home to these mega super yachts. Check out the pictures. Our anchor spot was on the western side, which we found very col colorful and extremely local. The little grocery store was so tiny, you couldn't even swing a dead cat in it. But as we say in South Africa, local is lacquer. <laughs> So we are looking for a beer place, but up till now this town looks like closed or members only. So many places says members only. Oh, this one closed as well. Oh my goodness. Maybe it's Sunday or something. It is Sunday, yes. Oh. You see, that is the problem. That's the problem. All day long. Oh, oh. Oh. All day long. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get something, yeah. I only open for some time. Open the beach. So what do you think of this place? Not enough beer. We drank all that guy cold beer up. So now we're looking for more beer. And it's like a whole beach of nothingness. It's Sunday. <laughs> yep. All the beaches on this island are absolutely spectacular. These long white sand beaches. It really feels like you're in a private world with this luscious green on the one side and this stunning blue waters on the other side. Cool. Okay, so we are uh, skipping a jump yeah. around the corner from hopefully an open bar. Um, <laughs> Yeah, um, me and Pietro will walk and you guys can stay there. You and Magda can walk. <laughs> Which one is it? Uh -huh. Is it Magda or Pietro? Look at the tattoos! Sure we're going to get a hit on copyright but this little place has that big music okay. <laughs> and I change it all the time <laughs> so after that long walk on that beautiful beach we decided to pull off in the water by paddle boarding and then a little later all these local kids had hung around the boat trying to entertain us which they did they succeeded now what can i say we south africans we ended off the day with a bride and we are under sail and the next day we off to Bekwa. Super stoked as we've only had good reviews on it. <laughs> this amazing bird. 
balancing yet. Look at those eyes. Our fishing lines are out. And we just now came from that island over there. Another fishing line is out. And Bafta is overlooking the lines. We are approaching Bequia. Bequia. So we want to just go left of that pinnacle there, which is over here. So and then go anchor somewhere here. So just for your information, Port Elizabeth is where the twins, <laughs> that was their hometown, born, they were born there. And I think somewhere here is also uh, Pretoria. There is Pretoria. So we've got also my favorite town and then PE. So we're going to look for an anchor spot somewhere there. And then if you look here, that's St. Vincent. So the big island there at the back is St. Vincent. And Mystique Island is somewhere there, around behind this one, Mystique, a private island. Look at the vegetation there. That goes to show that this is constantly heavy winds blowing in the same direction. And look how they blend the buildings into the landscape. It like blends in at the super pool. That's a nice way of entering into Bekwa. The wind is bumping. And we approaching Bekwa uh, for Elizabeth Bay. So hopefully the mic is working in this wind. But yeah, so we can see there's already boats anchored over there and there's boats there, there and over there and over there is the ferry docks so according to the charts we can either go that side or on that side on the left or right of the ferries and we arrived in Bekwa only had very 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 good reviews here there's a lot of boats on anchor and that would be the little town over there somewhere where all the ferries are probably a little marina but this is such a cool setting looks like loads of places around and then you follow the path there and there's another place walk along the beach and then there's a little stairway that goes over this little there it comes out you come down around here and then you get to another little place looks like a fancy place with a little jetty and then you carry on more along the beach but just so pretty and there's more places there's two more places there between the trees Oh, prettiness, they're busy revamping, renovating that boat. And there's a big ferry coming in, and it seems to be there's quite a lot of ferries here. But that says, welcome to Bekwa. Bekwa. This is the prettiest, prettiest little place. Can't wait to go and explore. We're going to fill up with fuel now. And just explore a little bit but we're going to spend about four days here so it should be amazing it looks all colorful and pretty okay so we have had okay let me get the other twins attention look how pretty she looks in her dress in her caribbean dress we've had a most amazing day this is considered the longest and most beautiful esplanade in the entire Caribbean. 
and walking all along at Machta and I realized that is so true. It is adorned with these beautiful homes and lovely little quaint restaurants. It is truly worth your while, especially working out. It's a good walk. So what comes up must come down. Yo, yo, yo. Thank goodness. <laughs> Did you see there was another way? The more challenging way? So we on Nenis, we decided to take the easy way out. Sideways, 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 sideways. In the middle of the Caribbean. We have a very different picture today. Yep, not all moonshine and roses every day. Eh? Look at the mist rolling over the mountains. Looks like the rainforest of Suriname with houses here. You can't even see the houses, well, you can hardly see them. All hatches are closed. We tie Tipex to that tree and it looks like very solid. So Tipex is over here. Sisus somewhere there. But look at this view. One amazing view. So the twins are still together, they love it. And it's time to explore a little bit this little beach here. Got a long beach from there to there. Now the bond between a twin and especially us being an identical twin, you cannot describe to the next person. Um, we really love almost you can say mourn for one another when we're not together especially after we've spent some time together like this and we haven't done this in years so the time together on this trip was way beyond super special it was just super cool so we here for the free wi-fi just joking i hear i hear the beer too Feet. <laughs> I wonder how many antiseptic is in here. Wow. I think it's a salad. Yeah. This was a cute little place. And we are on our way back. Time to find Tipex and well, hopefully Tipex is not there, it's still there. Yeah. <laughs> this is how it goes. And as we have scuba gear on board, Marta just had to have a quick resort course. Frick was a, is a dive master and he handled it like a pro. So what we take home from Bekwa Besides the prettiness is basically Jack's Bar, which is a brilliant restaurant. And then Max Pizza, but please be warned, those pizzas are massive and super filling. So watch out when you order, don't over order. And then across the bay, there's another restaurant, The Underground, owned by Mike. Please pay it a visit, it is absolutely worth it. 
Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next week when we head for St. Vincent.